This video is to explain a little bit about a transurethral resection of a bladder tumor. And a lot of times when we do this, we use a chemotherapy installation just in your bladder, nothing that you'd get sick from. This is for those people who've been diagnosed with bladder cancer recently in my office. A lot of times we'll see that on the camera in the bladder of the cystoscopy during workup for blood in the urine or what we call hematuria. If we found this tumor on you, I don't want you to be super stressed out until we actually find out what it is. Most of the time we can give you a pretty good idea in my office that we're dealing with bladder cancer. There's low-grade bladder cancer, high-grade bladder cancer. It doesn't really matter which one it is starting out. It's more important that we go and resect all of it and then we see what we're dealing with. The most important thing is that we get muscle. If the bladder cancer is into the muscle, uh, that's a more serious thing where we may have to take out your bladder or uh, you might have to go through radiation chemotherapy. If the bladder cancer is just involving the mucosa in the bladder lining or the lamina propria, which is just another layer in between the mucosa and the muscle, that's something that we can keep taking care of and watch closely moving forward. And bladder cancer, if you catch it early enough, is more like a weed and you just have to keep going back and pulling out the weeds. And as long as you do that, we can prevent you from really ever having this affect your body. I do follow the NCCN guidelines or the National Cancer Comprehensive Network guidelines. And this is just an easier way for us to make sure we're monitoring you safely and constantly doing surveillance for bladder cancer in case it tries to come back. It has one of the highest recurrence rates out of all cancers, at least 50% or more, and it's a very expensive cancer because we have to do different testing on the urine as well as doing these cystoscopies or cameras in the bladder in the office. In the operating room, you'll be put to sleep. Uh, it's all minimally invasive. We go up with the camera through your urethra and your bladder, and we literally just kind of scrape off the tumor or the growth on the bladder wall. If it is indeed cancer, we usually find out in a week or two once the pathologist has looked at the tissue. Most of the time, if we have a good idea or we've done a biopsy in the office and we know what we're dealing with is bladder cancer, we'll also instill at that time after we do the resection or the scraping of the tumor off the wall of the bladder, we'll do a installation or put some fluid into your bladder, which is usually a chemotherapeutic agent. Once we do this, we kind of rotate you a little bit once you're waking up from anesthesia for about an hour or so after the procedure just to coat all the lining with this chemotherapeutic agent. Currently, with the agent that we're using, it decreases recurrence of about 20%. And so that's what we're going for with this. Afterwards, things to expect, you may have to go home with a catheter, you might not. We try not to, but if we do a real deep resection, you may need to do that. Another thing that can happen is we could actually resect too deep and go through the wall of the bladder. If that happens, sometimes we go in laparoscopically, sometimes we have to make an incision, but we have to check and make sure we didn't injure any of your bowel or intra abdominal contents, and then we would close your bladder. I have still never had to do that, but it is something that I'm prepared for if needs be. Other things to expect afterwards is there's gonna be some burning, there's gonna be some bleeding. That's all kind of normal whenever you're working on the urinary tract. Uh, you can get some scarring along the urinary tract and so on, and we would deal with that as, as needed but those are all less common. Afterwards, there is something called BCG therapy that we could talk to you about. If it's a high-grade cancer, we just do that in the office. It's another installation therapy that helps decrease progression and recurrence, and we would follow those guidelines. But the actual procedure itself of going in and resecting the bladder tumor usually isn't that big of a deal for most patients, and their biggest complaint afterwards is bleeding and burning. So it's a progressive step that we need to get done to take care of this cancer. This is one of the reasons I actually went into urology is to help patients with cancer therapy and treatments. This is why I did my fellowship in robotic surgery with the emphasis on cancer. And so I look forward to taking care of you in the operating room. We will uh, answer any questions you have at the time of surgery when I meet you then.